Hello, this is David Ouellette of Vault Solutions, and I'm here to show you our Archive Accelerator Mailbox Restore product, which is used to restore messages uh, from Symantec's Enterprise Vault back into Exchange. This would typically be used if you have a customer, a employee who has left the company, for example, or you are divesting a part of your company, or you may be moving to Exchange 2010 and you'd like to restore all of the messages back into Exchange and use the online archiving feature in Exchange 2010. So to get started, you would bring up the management console, our Archive Accelerator management console, and in here you would see a list of the mailboxes, and you can simply right-click on a mailbox that you want to restore and say uh, restore. And then this will, um, the service that's running in the background will pick this up and start uh, restoring messages. And if you look at this jobs list view here, you can see uh, what's going on. You can see that this uh, mailbox, Clark Justice, is uh, being restored. And you can tell what, what folders being processed, how many mailboxes have been restored. And this is dynamically updated, so you can keep track of what's going on. And uh, if I actually go into this mailbox, uh, you can see that these, uh, you, you can actually watch these shortcuts as, as they get replaced. Uh, by the original item. So this is pulling the item out of Enterprise Vault and directly replacing the shortcut with the original item. So if these messages had been moved around from folder to folder, uh, it would uh, pick up, uh, it, it would actually know exactly where the shortcut was and, and, and put it in the right place. Uh, the other nice thing about how this works is you, you can actually stop this process. So if I go and, and, um, and stop the restore process, so that stops the, 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 the uh, the Windows service from running, and then um, and then I start it up again. Um, it's going to uh, if I if I go to process that mailbox again. So I come back here to uh, Clark Justice, and I, and I go ahead and tell it I want to process that mailbox again. Then um, it will go ahead and really start where it left off. So you're not going to get any duplicate items showing up in the mailbox because it's replacing the shortcuts with the originals and um, and it won't go back and process them a second time. Now, one way you can see how this is, is doing is to look at this uh, rate report. And uh, the, the rate report here shows you how many messages it's been processing per hour. So you can look at this uh, and, and just make sure that it's running OK and check on it in the morning, for example, and see uh, how, how many messages it's been processing through the, uh, through the evening. Now, one of the things that you might want to do after you've done a, um, a restore of somebody's mailbox is to export the, um, the archive to a PST file. So we have the uh, ability to do that. You can list the uh, archives, and, and you can right-click, and you can say uh, export now, and it will go ahead and start doing that. Or you can tell it that once it's done a restore, uh, that you want it to uh, automatically export that archive. So that's a setting here in the service settings. You can see export after successful uh, restore. So if you set that, then uh, it will automatically um, select the archive to be uh, exported after the re restore is finished. So this has been a demo of uh, the Archive Accelerator Mailbox Restore product. Thank you for watching.